the Miami Dolphins are entering into a new phase of their team-building experience this offseason. No longer is Miami focused nearly exclusively on hoarding new talent to the roster, now Miami must begin to turn their focus on retaining some of the established talent on the roster. Those negotiations will be more challenging this offseason than your typical year, given we're expecting a drop of approximately $20 million in the salary cap from 2020 to 2021. But even with the salary cap dip, the Dolphins are well aligned to take the leap and extend some of their standout talent if they so choose. There will be several key players entering into contract years in 2021, including De Emanuel Ogba, LB Jerome Baker, Tay Mike Jasicki and K. Jason Sanders. The good news is none of these contracts must be done this offseason. Miami will have an extra year of wiggle room if they'd like. But with repeat performances again next season for all four players, the Dolphins will likely be paying more than what they'd pay if they set a deal in place this offseason. And now, thanks to some projected non-exclusive franchise tag projections, we can have a fair idea of what Miami may have to pay to keep any of the four key free agents of the 2022 offseason under contract for the long haul. The non-exclusive franchise tag is a tool NFL teams can use to retain a player under contract for one season of fully guaranteed money, but if another team wishes to negotiate a long-term deal, the original team has a right to match the contract or else receive two first-round picks as compensation. The contract figures above, which are set based off a rolling five-year average of cap percentage of the top five salaries by position, will set a clear expectation on what retaining a top player at each position will cost. So if the Dolphins wanted to sit down and talk extension with Mike Jasicki, for example, the Dolphins would indicate that the top five salaries at his position over the last five years equate to a percentage percentage of the 2021 cap that would net Jasicki $9.5 million per season if he locked in a deal this offseason. Jasicki's camp would, of course, counter that the 2020 official non-exclusive tag rate for tight end was $10.6 million and that figure should be used to project forward given that the COVID-19 pandemic's impact on the salary cap in 2021 shouldn't be used to penalize Jasicki's next contract. With the cap expected to drop approximately 10% in 2021 versus 2020, there figures to be plenty of spirited debate on if these non-exclusive tag rates are worth referencing for long-term negotiations. But, at the very least, they set the floor for expectations on a per-year basis for some of Miami's top talents who may be due for new contracts in the next 12 months.